Hi, I'm Greg Dvorak, the Engineering Application Supervisor for Hendri the Hendrickson Wheel End and Brake Business Unit. Today I'd like to talk about the visual differences that you can look at to identify your air disc brake system. The first thing and probably one of the most important things to realize is that unlike drum brakes, disc brakes from manufacturer to manufacturer are very different. In this video, I'm going to give you the visual cues to look at your disc brake and identify whose brake it is so you can apply the proper maintenance practices for that brake. Every air disc brake caliper has an ID tag on it that is specific to its own manufacturer. Don't worry if you can't find it, there are other components on the brake that will help identify whose brake it is. The first is for Hendrickson and Wabco brakes. They have what looks like an extra pad in them that's a spreader plate to help the, the force be distributed across the pad. The second feature on a disc brake is the retaining bar. Wabco and Hendrickson have a tubular retaining bar. Haldex has a flat retaining bar and no screw to hold it in place. Bendix has a very wide flat plate to hold the, the, the pads down. The last is to distinguish between the tubular frames, the type of bolt that holds it down will tell you whether it's a Hendrickson or a Wabco air disc brake. Identifying the brake system is key to understanding the recommendations from that manufacturer for wear out limits and proper maintenance. It's a good thing there are some key visual differences to clue us in on what brake system we're looking at. Scan the QR code to learn more about air disc brake maintenance practices. If you can't find the question answered on the Max 20T site, please message me on LinkedIn or comment below to have your question answered by a Woodland and Brakes expert.